Nah. Pass. What is up, YouTube? How you guys doing today? So in this video, we're doing a Nerf gun hack. Do you know Nerf guns or even super soakers, I guess? Anything with like a pump that you have to pump for a while in order to shoot. We all know the worst part of that is just pumping it up, get like your arm sore a little bit, I don't know. So in this video, we're gonna fix that problem with a little bit of CO2. So this build shouldn't be very difficult to do at all. All we're gonna need is a CO2 bike pump and a tire valve. And of course your Nerf gun or super soaker that you want to modify. Pretty much we're just going to tap into the pressure chamber uh, with the bike valve and then you can attach the CO2 bike pump or if you have like an air compressor uh, you could attach that. Yeah I'll leave links in the description all the stuff you need uh, as well as my Instagram if you want to go follow that. Also if you do like this video please give this video a thumbs up. See if we can get a couple thousand. It'd be very much appreciated. Been late on the last couple videos. A lot of you were thinking I'm out of ideas. That's not the case at all. I am lists and lists and lists of ideas. I just don't have the time right now. School's going full blast. In Canada last weekend, I'm leaving for Scotland in literally 45 minutes all over the place, which means less time for videos, unfortunately. But I hope you guys can understand that. Uh, I'm doing my best. But as always, leave your ideas in the description of uh, future projects, because I'll add them to the list if I like them. Also, it's like a weird time for YouTube right now with like all the controversy and stuff going on. But yeah, enough of that. Let's hack our Nerf gun. The gist of this build is to take this uh, bike valve and we're going to put this into the air tank on this uh, Nerf gun right here. Okay, turns out for some reason, even with a hole in the side of this, it'll still actually hold pressure and shoot a little bit. We're gonna have to open this up and uh, find out where the real air tank is. This one's a fake. And here is the real air tank that we have to drill into. The system is weird. So this air tank in here, it's literally just a rubber cylinder that like expands outwards as it gets pumped up. So if I pump this up, see how it's expanding? It's like a rubber balloon almost. See how it's all ballooned up in there, but when I pull the trigger, it shrinks back down. So I'm probably gonna cut this off just cause I don't feel like taking this all apart and uh, we'll just screw it back on when we're done. literally just a tube of rubber inside of here that like blows up like a balloon. So there's actually a small valve in the back of this and that's for like pressure release or safety or whatever, something like that. This is probably just as safe. We're gonna stick the uh, bike valve in here. Yeah, that's where we're going to attach our CO2. We're gonna actually secure this valve in with a little bit of uh, epoxy just to make sure we don't get any leaks. Put a little bit of this on here. I always use too much. I think everyone, oh god, pretty sure everyone always uses too much of this. Big shit. Probably mixed enough. Just gonna slather some of this. And for good measure, put a little bit on the threads. Oh yeah. All right, let's let this dry. So I'm thinking we cut off a part of this back end so we can uh, hold the gun something like this. Have one trigger for uh, filling and the other one for shooting. Um, yeah, I think that should work out pretty nice.
As you can see, we can easily fit the uh, CO2 bike pump uh, attached to the back right here. And then we can kind of hold it like this, shoot with one hand, uh, reload with the other. So let's give this a quick paint job, and then I want to do some slight modifications to these foam darts. So while we wait for the paint and the epoxy to dry, uh, let's go ahead and modify these uh, foam Nerf darts that the gun's gonna shoot out. To the tips, I'm gonna be trying to mount some of these tacks. Let's see if we can get any of these darts to stick into stuff. And then we're also gonna be putting some poppers in the tips as well. Let's see if we can get them to uh, explode on impact. Also just try cutting off the whole tip, this whole top part, because I feel like this part squishing will uh, negatively affect the sticking potential of the tack. Just tried it out and uh, this is the definite way to go. So let's make a bunch more of these. This is gonna be fun. All right, now let's try making some darts with the popper. For these, I think I actually am just gonna cut a slit in the side and then stick in a popper. Then we can reload them too, because we can just take out the popper and stick in a new one. Grab one of these. Exploded. Insert into dart. Probably fit two in there, honestly, but yeah. Let's see if this makes a noise. Hey, it worked. As you can see, pretty charred. So uh, to replace it, just take out the old one and stick in a new one. Boom. Do this with like 10 of these too. Ah, ah, oh, that is scary. They're not really that dangerous, especially when they're inside of like these foam Nerf bullet tips. That'd be a cool way to step up your Nerf game. However, the uh, spiked Nerf bullets, uh, yeah, I might not recommend doing those. Don't ever shoot those at people. Hashtag, don't demonetize this. And that's 10. So we got 10 exploders, and we also got 10 pokers, I guess, that's what I'm gonna call it. So yeah, we'll do one clip, one of them, and and the other clip will be the other one. So let's load these up. Oh, feels wrong somehow. <laughs> Spiked Nerf darts. This is what we do to kids' toys on this channel. Ooh. And that's 10 as well. All right, I think the paint job is dry and so is the epoxy, so uh, let's go test this out. So I think the gear to actually make this thing move up by itself is broken, but it still works if you just uh, pull it out yourself while you squeeze the trigger, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, first let's try the exploder one. Load it in, pressurize it. It's good, aim at the target, and uh, we're gonna have to pull up on this while we shoot, so. Try that again, most of them. Another stick. But as you can see, they are shooting.
guys, well that is the end of this video. If you did like it, as I said, leave a thumbs up. Would appreciate it very much so. And uh, also hit that subscribe button. Modify the Nerf gun as well as the darts. No more wasting your time pumping. However, if you do ever run out of CO2, the pump always works. But yeah, that's how to be the cool kid with uh, the CO2 Nerf gun. You never have to pump up. Plus those Nerf dart modifications were pretty cool as well. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting back to the regular schedule soon. That's the goal, posting more regularly and um, higher quality videos. That's always the goal as well. But as I said, it's tough to balance it with like school and life in general, honestly. So yeah, that's where I'm coming from, but it means a lot that you guys still watch my stuff, so. I've also got a new really cool design for uh, t-shirts, so look out for that in uh, upcoming videos. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.